Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial. As usual, the Discord link's in the description if you need any help. Okay, so we've got a nice easy one this time. We're actually just going to finish off our weapon smoothing. Um, so if we go into our weapon here and have a look in the script. Uh, so we're going to add a few things to this model. So I'm just going to open up the script and I'm also going to open up our model script. Um, and inside here, so we're also going to be doing clamping as well. So I'm going to uh, leave it under sway, so I'm not going to add another header. Um, but we're going to have a public, um, and what I also want to do is have a value for the sway reset smoothing, just in case we want the sway to reset quicker than the actual sway itself. Um, so we'll just add a sway reset smoothing, and then we'll also add our two public float um, we'll have sway clamp x um, and we'll also have sway clamp y okay so if we go into our weapon script now we can actually start using a few of these so the first thing I want to do is duplicate these two here and instead of new weapon rotation we are going to be using target weapon rotation and just change the uh, velocity one as well target weapon rotation velocity and then instead of new weapon rotation here change that to our new variable target weapon rotation and then target weapon rotation what we want to do is we want to smooth damp that value back down to zero so if we just say target rotation equals and then vector three dot smooth damp. And then what we can smooth damp. So it's the value you want to smooth damp. Um, and then the value you want to smooth damp at two. So we can just do a vector three dot zero. Um, and then we have to reference the velocity, which we can just use our target weapon rotation velocity. Um, and we need to put ref at the beginning just because we're referencing that variable. Um, and then the time, which we have down as settings dot sway reset smoothing. Cool. All right, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to smooth damp our new weapon rotation to the target weapon rotation. Uh, so I'm just going to copy that. So again, uh, new weapon rotation equals vector three dot smooth damp, and the value you want to smooth damp. So the value you want to smooth damp at 2, so in this case we're smooth damping it to target weapon rotation. Then we want to ref the velocity, uh, which we called new weapon rotation velocity. And then we want settings dot uh, sway smoothing. Alright, so target weapon rotation is the actual rotation that we um, we want the weapon to rotate on. New weapon rotation is basically just a smooth damped value for that vector um, okay all right so let's go into unity um, we'll play around with some of the variables make sure that that actually works all right so sway reset smoothing um, I'm gonna set both of these to 0.1 just to test that out sway amount down to six um, and I'm gonna leave clamp Y and X on one um, which doesn't seem like much, but it'll basically just be the testers working later on. So if I hit play now, we can have a look that firstly it resets, which it does. And also it's nice and smooth as we look around, which it is. So the next thing is putting a clamp on this, because as you can see, we can get some pretty big angles. Um, so let's go and pop in this clamp. So remember the value we're clamping now is now our target weapon rotation. So we'll do target weapon rotation X um, and we'll also do Y. So I'm literally going to duplicate that line and instead of X, I'm going to do Y. And we need to put our variables in here. Uh, so I believe we have it under settings uh, dot clamp X and Y. Okay, so the first value is going to be a negative version of itself and then the normal version of itself. Um, and then we'll do the same for our y. Um, 
All right. So currently they're both set to one. So let's just um, make sure that that's taken an effect. And there should barely be any weapon with sway, which is good. Um, but if we go in and change this to say like four. All right. So realize we made a mistake. Um, so when you clamp a value, you have to tell it the value you want to clamp. You can see here we use a new weapon rotation, even though we're, we switched to the target rotation. Just pop those in there. Um, and now it should work if I set these, uh, set them to 12, or let's set them to back to four. If I hit play, have a look. Okay, see there is rotation, but it is clamped, which is exactly what we wanted. So again, um, you need to play around with the clamps to get them how you want it, the sway amount to get it how you want it, and obviously the smoothing to how you want it and whether you want it inverted or not. Um, so play around with those settings till you get something you want. Um, so say I want to go a little bit more than four. Let's double that. Let's go eight. All right. Nice and simple. Um, and now that the weapon sway is done, we can move on to the next next tutorial. The next tutorial is going to be pretty simple. We're going to move on to uh, actually getting the walking animations in um, and have the weapon rotate depending on which way you're walking. So it'll make the gun look a lot more responsive um, and it should start bringing it to life. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for the next episode and I will see you in the next one.